ever since I was a little kid, I've always tried to find an airplane that my grandfather had flown that maybe I could fly that exact same airplane. Bill Tremblay, a pilot and airplane mechanic from McGuanago, has aviation in his bloodline. Allied planes blasted Rommel's tanks. Bill's grandfather, Lieutenant Clement Tremblay of Milwaukee, piloted bomber missions during World War II, including one later immortalized. In the film, Bridge on the River Kwai. What's great about this exhibit is that these were true combat airplanes. So when Bill heard that the EAA Museum in Oshkosh was featuring an exhibit of nose art, the paintings displayed on World War II era bombers, he had a hunch. I knew that there was a chance that my grandfather's plane, or a plane that he flew, was here. So we went through this as fast as we could. and. I couldn't find it. There's a reason that Bill didn't see the panel from his grandfather's plane right away. You see, the museum realized that some of the artwork on these wartime bombers is intended for more mature audiences. Went back in the last room and there it was. Behind a canvas curtain in a space reserved for nose art featuring images that are more revealing than others was the panel from Double Trouble, Grandpa Clement's B-24. Double trouble was that aluminum color. Bill's dad, Jim, explained that um, Grandpa Clement didn't paint the two female figures wearing nothing but red shoes and bow ties, but he piloted that aircraft and commanded the crew on critical missions. My reaction was like, whoa, there, that, there it is. At first glance, Jim was in awe, but he says it was Bill for whom the moment meant the most. Bill's reaction, he was by himself and he started to cry because he never met his grandpa. Grandpa Clement never got to know the grandson who would inherit his love of flying. Instead, all Bill had were old photos and stories until he stood before that piece of his grandfather's plane. I had tears in my eyes because it was finally, it, here it is, this exists. It's this tangible piece of an airplane that my grandfather flew and now I can stand there and I can see it, I can touch it, and I know that it exists. And so this holiday season, Bill thinks of it as a gift, decades old paint on a tattered piece of metal, breathing new life into the close personal bond with the grandfather he never met. It's like finding the treasure at the end of the journey. In Oshkosh, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.